How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf, and uh, today I'm just going to do a bit of a smaller mission because I'm still having like issues with the gearbox. It's still being weird that started happening to me on the live stream yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this mission called Fisherman's House. I need to deliver two short logs and one lot of medium logs. So I'm going to take the uh, Zix and the Dolphin and a goddamn horse, of course. Um, yeah, so I've got to drop uh, all the stuff off over to there. So I'm going to kind of they're going to kind of circle down, follow up that road, grab, uh, yeah, I've already got a trailer there as well, a medium log trailer from when I was testing to see uh, if I could put small logs in a medium log trailer. Um, yeah, I could cut round there, but I'm going to try and, again, awkwardly go over that bridge thing. When you get to that fisherman's house, if you go round that way, I've just kind of shown on the map, it's all death snow and all the rest of it, you're best off cutting down the road under the bridge and round that way. I went there, I believe, to scout the mission ages ago. And uh, yeah, it's just all like death snow and it's painfully slow going along there. And I think there is a few winch points, etc. But yeah, it's certainly not the quickest way. And uh, yeah, like I said, this gearbox issue has still been happening where it's basically forcing me to constantly jump back to first gear. And then also there's like practically no power and way worse than like what it's kind of since they broke the gearboxes it's felt like there's a bit less power anyway this is like on a whole nother scale and it seems to be just randomly picking and choosing when it happens thankfully it turned out on this mission for the most part I didn't seem to get affected by it but I've got a little bit of footage at the end of this video that I'll show you of like basically just before I started this mission and um, testing out a few ones and I ended up going on uh, my first playthrough well, I'm on that now, like where my I don't use mods or anything. Um, obviously, it did it on the live stream on my modded playthrough. I also went and tried my third playthrough, which is kind of like a backup modded playthrough. I'm still a very low level on it, and I can't really unlock a lot of stuff, so I don't really use it unless it's like a massive mod, and I can't really fit it onto my normal modded playthrough. But uh, went on there, and yeah, like on each different save file, etc., I was able to get it to happen, so it doesn't seem to be like well whatever's broken about it, it seems to be broken kind of deep down in the coding of the game because it's not like a mod that I added and then it's just made them behave weird in that or whatever it's like appears to have affected potentially every gearbox in every truck even across the save files and all the rest of it so and uh, yeah when it was happening to me on live stream like it started happening on the Bartelby mod uh, I tried the A's of Iceberg, it did it to that a little bit, that was actually not too bad, like, I could still get it into high gear with that, but you could definitely tell it was affected that things like a powerhouse normally. Um, yeah, and then tonight, I mean, I tried it with the uh, the A's of Iceberg, the Zix 605R, uh, the Navistar, that was on, like, my third playthrough. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's why I t attempted, like, a bit of a smaller, simpler mission today, so I don't know, I'm hoping... Uh, that it's an issue they're going to try and fix. I mean, like I said, the good news is it didn't really affect me on this mission, and then I had a little go with some trucks just after I got the footage for this mission, and it appeared to be normal then as well, so yeah, hopefully it was some kind of bug. I mean, they might be, like, doing I call them sort of stealth updates where they're, like, updating stuff, but they don't actually tell us, and that, you know, nothing actually officially pops up that says click here to install but every time when it, they used to release the phases one to four like a week or two before the phase had come out there'd just be loads of weird things happening in the game even though there's been no official update or like I said nothing's popped up saying to install and yeah I think they're just kind of adding things in the background preparing for I'm assuming the phase five then whatever like the first phase of season two and maybe they just ended up breaking the gearboxes <laughs> it's not the first time, I know that much. But yeah, this time they're uh, <laughs> seriously, seriously broken. But like I said, thankfully it wasn't doing... Because even this mission would have been... I mean, the video was about 15, 16 minutes to do this mission. Um, I don't know, it would have took probably 40, 50 minutes to do this mission. It's just keeping me in first gear and it's gutless. Like, horrifically gutless. Um, yeah, like I said, I 
left the log trailer here because a little while ago I tried to see if I could load small logs into a medium log trailer since they haven't given us like a small log trailer. Um, sadly you can't which is a bit of a shame because again it's, if it's a medium log trailer it's going to fit the small logs. To be honest I don't even know if there's that much difference in size between them. And uh, yeah I mean the only reason I'm going to attach the log trailer to the Dolphin instead of the Zix is if I attach the trailer to the Zix then it's in the middle of the road train and trailers like this with the dolly axles are such a tosser for tipping anyway and when they're in the middle of the kind of road train the tension from both sides just make it fling around like an idiot. See like there, the dolphin seemed to drive better through that mud after it had its logs on even though it's now got a medium log trailer. Once you get a bit of weight on there it can help in its own right and that's where trucks say like the P16's already got that kind of weight. So it helps it plant, plant itself pretty well. But yeah it was all uh, pretty simple grabbing that stuff. Just make sure I don't tip there but we're all good. And yeah, I don't even know if I'd be able to get out of here, to be honest, with those gearbox things are happening. It was weird how it just happened. Well, probably not midstream, it was towards the end of the stream. I probably was, like, kind of keen to end the stream sooner rather than later when it uh, started doing that anyway, because... Oh well, yeah, everything was just going painfully slow. And it happened on that solid rock mission, which was like... Not that I disliked that mission, but I didn't really want to do it on the live stream. I just needed to, to try and unlock some other missions. And yeah, it forced me to do first gear for most of it, which was pretty brutal. As for phase two though, or not phase two, like season two, I'm uh, still not too sure if and when anything's coming out. I assume it can't be too far away, because I'm trying to think when we got phase one, how long after the game came out. But then again, they didn't really release phase four until... I think that was already after a full year had passed, hadn't it? So, I don't know. I think they fell behind a bit with the seasons. It was not the end of the world, but I mean, as far as like what their plans were, I believe they fell behind them a bit. So, who knows, maybe with this season they'll try and get them a little bit more in time. Because really, they said it's like a full year of content, and if... Phase 4 didn't drop until after a year, that's kind of like more than a year's worth of content really. You'd think really they would have dropped Phase 4 at like 10-11 months after the game came out and then there's your last month or two of content. Probably get away with two months as they added like four maps. It was the biggest phase they've added yet. Um, yeah, so far so good. Like I say, a pretty simple mission to be honest. Not a lot going on. The uh, gearbox, uh, not, well, yeah, the gearboxes are doing all right at the minute. So the Zix is towing this just fine. The Dolphin's good enough that that's kind of hauling itself anyway for the most part. And like I said before, because the Dolphin's got the high range and the Zix has got the advanced special, even though I'm in a road train situation, you can see I'm still getting into fifth gear out of fifth gear because even though it makes the back the truck you're towing it makes go slower because it's just in a higher set of gearboxes to begin with it's still ticking along fast enough that it's not really like dragging and slowing the zigs down so that's why it's quite nice if you're gonna do a road train it's not bad to have like a heavy hauling machine at the front like bruce or this zix or whatever and then something like the dolphin that's still good at hauling but it's also quicker yeah this is this awkward like rock archway that to be honest I do quite like driving over it. It's this little bit here that's a bit of a pain, you'll see why coming up. But um, the Zix and a goddamn horse got over there. I mean, no doubt it was 90% down to a goddamn professional being with me. So now I've got to get the dolphin over there. Well, again, it's uh, I wouldn't really say the truck, it's the trailers that could be a pain on, on here. But long story short, I've learnt enough now that I need to just stop being lazy with the winches and accept the inevitable. I keep coming back here because I want to try and beat it, <laughs> essentially. And, um, yeah. 
preferably I would have liked to beat it without having to stick a winch from the trailer to these trees, hence why I try just floor it now, but my chin digs in, that absolutely screwed me. Trailer's gone, I'm gone, so quit and reload, try again. So this time I thought, right, I'll try and go a little bit slower so I don't, like, once I caught my chin there, it pretty much flicked like the, my back end up, flicked the front of the trailer up and yeah, she was a goner. So now, I'm trying to tiptoe it a bit, but you can see the trailer's already skidding over to the left, so about now I just have to try and drop the hammer. The trailer's too far gone, it unpacks, the logs fall out, I was like, sod it, quit, reload. <laughs> and yeah, at this point I was like, fair enough. I'll accept the inevitable. Like I said, I would have liked to have conquered it, like, just pure driving over it with a trailer. I mean, again, I really wish they wouldn't put a bloody invisible barrier on the broken bridge to the left. And I'd, uh, yeah, possibly even whip one of those bridge laying mods onto this, even though it's not my modded playthrough. So now, yeah, just stick a winch from the trailer to one of these trees. At least there is solid trees there. And then that's it, as you're slowly rolling forward, just keep hoovering the winch in. Because, oh well, preferably kind of do that as well, where at the last minute you kind of pull on the winch and it'll swing your trailer, like tuck it further into the cliff instead of near the edge of it. And then got over that, but then down here I kind of stubbed my chin. I, I cut out about 15 seconds here. I was trying to drive forward and then when I eventually looked around, I was like, oh. Originally, I was kind of feather in the throttle because I thought I wasn't sure if the uh, trailer was going to try and tip on me. As it has been known to do, but yeah, stick a winch on that lamppost or whatever, and we're all good. Again, got a free range trailer there, so I could fill it if I need, if I wanted to, but I don't really need to. God, them horse has got that covered. And again, if I don't need to use fuel from that trailer, I'd rather not because the sooner I empty the trailer, the sooner I've got to replace it. So you know, I kind of felt now, but I don't know, it is going up through the gears. But you see how a minute ago, well, a few minutes ago, I was easily ticking along in fifth gear out of fifth and I was going pretty quick. Now it feels a little bit slower. But the fact that it's not automatically jumping back down to first constantly that'll do for now I'll take it yeah if I in theory I, I, if I could turn left there and just kind of jump down the hill I'd be there but there is no it's all like little cliff edges and rocks and stuff but yeah it just ain't worth it go around the, the long way which is still a pretty short overall it's not a bad little route this to be fair And yeah, I don't know if, if and when they're gonna, but it'd be nice if they added like a small log trailer. Like, this mission ended up working out nicely that it needed two small logs and one medium, because as you can see, I can put small logs on both trucks, but uh, I c I've only got a medium log trailer, so if this one needed three small logs, yeah, I'd, I could road train two trucks, but I'd need to bring three trucks just for the small log thing. Or do the, you know, load a load of small logs into a sideboard, all that. But I'd rather avoid that if I can. Unless it's like, some of these missions, I think one of them's like six medium logs somewhere. I might just load up, yeah. With a fat stack of uh, medium logs and then do it that way. I had to stop now, I was looking. I don't even know which bit I'm going to use as a thumbnail, but I thought, oh, pretty nice view with the old bridge in the background. Loaf in the foreground, of course. He's earned it. It was funny as well, yesterday in the live stream, it was when I took the loaf out of the garage, I think that gearbox bug started happening. <laughs> it was like instantly, about a second or two after I started driving, I was like, yeah, something's wrong. <laughs> this ain't the normal loaf standard. I know my loaf. And then, yeah, as we uh, later found out in the live stream, the gearboxes were definitely horrifically broken, so... 
But yeah, it was uh, definitely pretty easy to guess. Game starts messing with my horse. That is not a good idea. See now, look. I believe it's doing it. It's not spinning any tires, and this is the Dolphin, one of the strongest vehicles in the game. Even winch into that. And it can just kick in and stop again, like, in the blink of an eye. There doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason to it, or, like, if you're mashing L1, if you're not mashing L1, if you're going uphill, downhill, whatever. I don't know what the hell is causing it, but, yeah. Get them dropped off. I mean, it's six grams for the mission. It's pretty crap still, really. Should've been more like a 10 or 15, that one. Three lots of logs. It was a pretty easy mission overall, though, not gonna lie, but it's another one done anyway. Ticked off the list. That's a nice little view as well. Goddamn horse. Um, yeah, I'll just show you a little bit of footage. So this is the A's of Iceberg. And uh, now I managed to get it into fifth. Coming out of the garage, it wouldn't. And then now, look. That is flooring it flat out. You can't really tell because the, the revs sound like I barely am. I know I've not put the diffs on, but if none of the six wheels are moving, diffs are kind of irrelevant at the minute because, yeah. Yeah, there isn't even enough engine power. There you go. It finally spanned one wheel. Uh, this is the Zix 605R. I'm in fifth. Then we get here. Goes to first. And then now, well, you just see the lack of the power. Again, I'm absolutely dropping the hammer. Clicking L1, trying to get it. Obviously, it ain't going to jump up a gear when it's going this bloody slow. But... So yeah, that's, and then it started getting into fifth gear, going down the hill. This is probably the best one. Just look at the numbers of the gear. It keeps going first, third. I'm well. I'm obviously tapping L1 to try and jump it up the gears, and every time it does, it, it then auto forces it back to first gear. And again, I'm absolutely squeezing the throttle the entire time. And this is in uh, Black River, like obviously a flat level yard. It's doing it again, jump into first, but then I believe now it just stops doing it, and then I get second, get third. It's still a bit gutless revs-wise, but it's not doing the whole jump into first thing. But there's still nowhere near the power there was. I mean, you can hear, like, this thing should be going with a bit more oomph than it is. And then this is just one to show you as well. It's um, well, it's it was in fifth there. It just dropped to first, and then this time it wasn't making me go back to first. But look how slow. <laughs> this is a Navistar with the top engine in, going from first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But this is just pure squeezing the throttle the entire time. This is how slow and barely making it through the gears. So yeah, I don't know. Something's badly broken. I hope they fix it pretty soon because I've got some missions and videos to do. Anyway, that's about it for today though. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreon members. Get yourself a loaf because you're still a goddamn beast. And I'll be back soon.